the um, premature separation of one of the umbilicals up there on the uh, second stage of uh, the Antares rocket. FTSA, FTSB, safe indication and telemetry. LC copies, check out the eight. And site control, this is LC, step out of nine is not required. Copy. Op one LC, step out of ten is not required. Copy. Op one, can you verify payload SIM ODM indicate safe? LCS-1, uh, payload ODMs indicate safe. Check out 11. And electrical 1, uh, looking for verification of payload SIM ODMs in telemetry. Payload ODMs verified safe. Check out 12. And OPS-1, LC, step out for 13 is not required. Copy. And uh, step out for 14 is not required. And step out for 15 is not required. Control on engineering one. And launch team LC on uh, countdown one. Uh, we're now into step uh, Alpha 16 of the board chafing operations. Uh, step Alpha 16 is not required. So, just to recap, uh, the uh, launch for today has been scrubbed um, due to a uh, premature separation of one of the umbilicals up on the second stage of the Antares rocket. Uh, you're just looking at a view of the range control center. The uh, Antares rocket stands 130 feet tall, so uh, obviously, John, um, that notwithstanding, it, it still is going to require defueling and um, and, and obviously uh, reattaching that, determining why it came off, and, and then regroup and, and determine when the next best uh, launch opportunity is, right? Yeah, that's correct, Kyle. Right now the team is uh, moving into the abort script to uh, detank, uh, defuel the launch vehicle, safe the launch vehicle, and uh, ultimately return it to its uh, nominal state. And uh, to track through that process uh, will likely take uh, between 24 and 48 hours. So if uh, everyone um, continues to monitor our, our website and the other uh, news outlets, uh, we will make sure to have additional information on the next launch attempt. Yeah, and of course, we'll we'll stay here for a little bit and see if we can get some more information uh, uh, on uh, when the uh, we have an opportunity to provide some more detail, either uh, via online or uh, uh, a uh, press conference there from the launch facility. Okay, copy that. And obviously, uh, um, the camera views... Um, can also, as you see, be zoomed in and, and provide um, an engineering um, view for the uh, for the team as well. Uh, obviously, uh, it's still in a pad clear situation, so zooming the cameras in provides <coughs> at least an early glimpse at uh, what may have um, caused the umbilical to separate there from that uh, the upper stage or the second stage of the rocket. LC Cap is check out for 23. And at this time, I'd like to pull for transfer of avionics. And, uh, excuse me, a step out for 24 is not required. Step out for 25 is not required. Step out for 26 is not required. Step out for 27, not required. 
Site control, step Alpha 28, discharge tail rapid retract system. Site control copies, in work. 4 p.m. LC, step Alpha 31, configure DCOM source to close loop telemetry. 4 p.m. in work. LC, this is RPM. You can switch to close loop telemetry and nominal. And LC copies of RPM will go ahead and check out for 31, check out for 32. Tactical 1, verify receive closed loop telemetry in the MCC. LC electrical 1, closed loop telemetry nominal. LC copies, check out for 33. And OTM, switch payload sim decom source to closed loop telemetry. Payload simulator decom switch to closed loop telemetry. And now 34. And check out for 35. That's cool. One, verify receipt of payload sim closed loop telemetry in the MCC. LCT electrical, or LC electrical one payload simulator closed loop telemetry nominal. LC copies, check out for 36. Ops 2, you go to turn a rocket cam transmitter off at this time. LCC Ops 2, rocket cam transmitter is off. Check out 37. And uh, Ops 2, we're going to go ahead and press with step uh, Alpha 38. Uh, remove external power from transmitter sequentially as listed. LCC Ops 2, and work. LCC Ops 2, count that one. Go ahead, LLA. We've transitioned to detanking timeline A. Copy that. We're in, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ole, can you uh, repeat? Yeah, copy. We've, uh, the sequencer's transitioned from abort spacing into detanking. Uh, we're beginning to detank uh, the oxidizer from the vehicle. Copy, you're in detanking A. LCC OS 2, payload sim transmitter, external power is off. Stage 1 transmitter, external power is off. Rocket cam transmitter, excuse me, rocket cam power is off. Motor cone transmitter power is off. And avionics telemetry transmitter external power is off. And obviously, I'm sorry, did you also call stage 1 transmitter off as well? Uh, that's copy that, yes. Stage 1 transmitter is off. Okay, copy that. We'll go ahead and check out the 38 complete. And let's go on, verify all transmitter power is off. Transmitter power verified off. LC copies, check out for 39 complete. And uh, site control, I'll wait for your call uh, when the uh, tell system has a discharge rapid retract. Site control copies, it didn't work. We're about halfway done. Half of that. Ops 1 LC, disable local launch enable button and fail safe panel and verify local indicators extinguished. LC Ops 1, uh, Ops 1 launch enable is removed. Check out the 40 GSO, disable local launch enable button and fail safe panel and verify local indicators extinguished. Launch enable is removed and light is extinguished. LC copies, check out 41. Ops 1, verify removal of Master Global Launch Enable. LC Ops 1, removal of Master Global Launch Enable verified. LC copies, check out 42. And launch team, at this time I'd like to poll for FTS power off. FTS?
and launch him at this time like a pole for FTS power off. FTS. FTS is go. FTS is go. GSO. And GSO is go. And GSO is go and FSO. FSO is go. And launch team is go for FTS power off. Check step alpha 43, ops 2, LC, remove FTS power. LC, Ace, can have one? Uh, go ahead, Ace. Hey, we've got a situation that's going to require a, a black line step on the uh, by the loading team on GN2. Uh, we uh, we need to vent pressure in the nitrogen line between the FGSC and the main engine bottles. Um, briefly open valves 5128 and 5199, and then I close them again. Okay, copy that. And are you looking for buy-in from uh, safety, flight insurance, and safety on this? Uh, yeah, we need. We need This is Mission Control in Houston. We're obviously uh, following along with the uh, post-scrub activities associated with the uh, uh, launch attempt today for the uh, Orbital Sciences uh, Antares launch. Um, just to recap uh, before we uh, go off the air, um, about 12 minutes before the preferred launch time at 4.48 p.m. Eastern, uh, we uh, heard the calls on uh, the loops from the uh, range control center. Um, Adam Lewis, the launch conductor, um, um, being told uh, that one of the uh, umbilicals up on the second stage of the rocket had uh, prematurely um, uh, dislocated. Uh, that obviously uh, immediately uh, led to a uh, scrub of, of the uh, launch attempt for the day. Um, the uh, Obviously, at this point, uh, quite a bit has to uh, has to happen before another launch attempt is uh, selected. Um, we've uh, had the pleasure of being joined by John Steinmeier throughout the uh, day, who is the senior project manager for the uh, Orbital's Launch Systems Group. And um, obviously, John, there's disappointment, but this is we talked about this as being a test flight, and, you and these are the kind of things you kind of iron out. You learn a little bit from every launch attempt, and so uh, we'll take the lessons learned today and move into uh, another launch attempt as soon as uh, it's safe to do so. Um, I think if uh, we want to thank everyone for tuning in today and following along, and then we'll certainly post information on the next launch attempt. And uh, yeah, and we'll uh, definitely be back. Uh, hopefully, John will be with us uh, for the next launch attempts once that's uh, selected. Just a couple of programming notes: uh, be sure to uh, uh, tune into the websites for updated information, uh, uh, particularly the uh, Orbital's website, obviously, but also NASA's uh, formal website. There you see www.nasa.gov/orbital. Uh, any uh, updates will be posted there rather quickly, uh, and through obviously our social media uh, accounts uh, to uh, keep you updated on the activities. Uh, but again, as soon as uh, a new uh, launch date is uh, targeted, uh, we'll be back uh, for the, another launch attempt for the um, uh, Antares-1 uh, launch uh, atop the Antares rocket from the Wallops uh, flight facility there at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport in, uh, on the eastern shore of Virginia. Until then, uh, have a good day, and we'll uh, be back again for the next launch attempt.